Okay, hi there. Welcome to a macro video, part of a suite of videos on exchange rates. And let's spend a few minutes in this short topic video looking at how to structure an exam answer to a question on how a widening current account deficit might cause a change in the country's exchange rate. Here's the question. Uh, examine how an increase in a country's current account deficit, external deficit, uh, might cause a change in the external value of their currency. We're going to be looking to build essentially one main KA point here, then we'll do a little bit of evaluation as well. Uh, start with the definition. The current account of the balance of payments uh, comprises the balance of trade in goods and services, plus uh, primary and secondary income flows. So net investment incomes from assets, uh, net transfers, including things like remittances, all factored into the current account. A current account deficit is usually, not always, but usually the result of an increasing trade deficit where the value of imports exceeds the value of exports. Crucial in the exam to put the word value in there. Don't just say imports are greater than exports. It's the value of the imported goods and services exceeds the value of the exports. Now, the rising net trade deficit might have been caused by an increase in imports or perhaps a drop in the value of exports. You can take either theme as the basis for your answer. I'll take a rise in imports. So as a result of an increase in the value of imports, there will be a net outflow of money from a country's circular flow. And typically households and businesses, well, we pay for imports in our own currency, uh, but eventually that is converted from, let's say, pounds to dollars or pounds to euros or yen. In other words, it's converted into the currency of the exporting nation, exporting businesses. They will pay their workers in their own currency. So there will be a currency conversion process. Hence, if we're importing more, a rising current account deficit leads to an increased supply of a nation's currency in the foreign exchange markets. Therefore, in the currency markets, there will be an outward shift of supply. And this shift, ceteris parbus, many other things can affect the exchange rate. That might lead to uh, the external value of the currency falling. And in a free floating system, make the examiner aware that you're aware of the system being used. This is called a currency depreciation. So in other words, an increased current account deficit increases the net outflow of currency supply and through the market causes the exchange rate to fall. We can model this using fairly simple, straightforward supply and demand analysis. So there's the equilibrium exchange rate at ER1 initially. If we're importing more, the value of our imports causes the supply of currency to increase <coughs> to CS2. Other things being the same, that brings down the equilibrium value of the exchange rate from ER1 to ER2. The current account deficit might also have grown because of a fall in the value of the uh, products that a country exports. Perhaps, for example, uh, you're a major exporter of a commodity, a primary commodity, just copper or zinc or cocoa. Now, if your exports take a hit, the value of your exports fall, uh, that decreases the demand for your country's exports and the demand for your country's currency. So therefore, you could, you could model this using an inward shift of currency demand. Either way, again, as you can see here from this diagram, the external value of the currency would fall. Important here to label, to label the axes properly, the external value on the y-axis, the quantity of currency traded on the x-axis. Uh, we need to examine. Uh, it does say examine. It doesn't say explain. So you're looking to bring some evaluation points into your answer. First evaluation point. Well, many factors influence the exchange rate. It's not just about trade and current account. It's also about the capital account, the financial account. So financial flows into bonds and equities and other investments might have actually over overcompensated for that. So you might be running a current account deficit, but attracting some hefty inflows of money on the financial account, keeping the exchange rate stable. Uh, this relates to my second point. There might have been capital inflows coming into the country, which increases currency demand and might cause the currency to appreciate. 
And of course, I've assumed in my answer that there's a free floating exchange rate. Well, the central bank may not decide to opt for that. They may actually choose a managed floating system. And so there's the prospect of some form of intervention if the central bank, for example, wants to slow down a currency depreciation that might limit the impact of a current account deficit on the value of a currency. So there we go, a quick look at how an increased current account deficit might impact on a nation's exchange rate.